God bless you. Welcome to precept upon precept, line upon line. Today's verse that we're going to use is 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, where it says, Therefore, purge out the old leaven, that you may be a new lump, since you truly are unleavened. For Christ, our Passover, was sacrificed for us. So there we see the Apostle Paul is dealing with a sin that's taking place at the church. And he told them a little bit earlier that a little leaven leavens the whole lump. Now the scripture uses the word leaven is symbolic of sin. Wherever there's leaven is symbolic of sin. And Paul is saying, listen, you need to clean house. You need to clean out sin from the church, clean sin from your heart. It says purge out the old leaven, meaning when you were a sinner, you practice sin. You love sin, you enjoy sin, but now since you are a new creation in Christ Jesus, you are to put away your old sin because you truly are now what? Unleavened, meaning there's no more sin in you. You are sinless in Christ Jesus. And the Apostle Paul attaches that to saying that Christ Jesus is our Passover. Now, you know that Israel, on the day of Passover, when they left Egypt, they were in bondage for 430 years. And we see that that day they were ordered to kill a lamb and take the blood of the lamb and apply the blood over the doorpost. And when the angel will come, he will pass over that house if he saw blood over that house. So we see there that it's symbolic of Christ Jesus, Jesus the lamb and the blood of Christ over our lives. That when the deaf angel came and saw the blood, he will pass over that house and no judgment will take place in that house. Why? Because of the blood. And the apostle Paul says, Christ is our Passover who was sacrificed for us. Since Christ was sacrificed for us, what happens? All our sins have been erased. All our sins have been washed away by the blood of Jesus. And now we truly are what? Unleavened. So let's keep leaven out of our lives or sin. Keep it away from our lives because Christ Jesus has already died for us. God bless you all in Jesus' name.